Hi there Pisces, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for July, a month which could lead in time to being a very sociable one for you with significant developments in your love life. But if we wind back to the start of the month, although the sun is in your sister water sign of cancer and that on the face of it is empowering you to demonstrate your individuality, it does come up against the challenge in the form of Pluto. And it's possible that something you want to do may not receive much cooperation or support from a group of people that in the past have been important to you. A friendship could be tested this month. It could even be about the future of a relationship itself, a close relationship. And part of the reason that you're going to be doing quite a lot more reflection in the early parts of this month is the fact that Venus and also Mercury are located in an area which can see you doing a lot of musing. It's possible you may even invite people around and, and like to spoil them, and there can be a nurturing element to close relationships. Equally, you could be decorating, and if decorating or improving where you're living makes you feel more comfortable and relaxed, it's certainly a good thing to go for. But Venus also forges a strong alliance to Mars in the early part of this month. Now Mars is in a part of your scope that's to do with business. If you're working from, in a business from home, a time of growth is possible, or the prospect of starting to work more independently like this, or in a part-time flexible role, could really appeal to you. On the other hand, it could be a property change, a physical property change, a move of address, which is in the works. On the 13th, Mercury moves out of a rather reflective area into the much more bubbly fifth house to join up with the sun. And this can definitely be good for you. But there is a full moon that day, and it's possible that you may have to balance your time and energies between different people. For example, if a partner thinks you spend too much time on your social life, that may need a realignment or vice versa. Or you may reject what anyone's views are and want to do your own thing. On the 16th, Jupiter makes a transition from the creative part of your scope, where it's been the last year, into a much more practical one. But in the next 12 months, you could learn an awful lot about your health and get much more virtuous in terms of your health practices. But also, it can bring about fortune as far as work and employment is concerned. And you may find that you get a great buzz out of doing things that can help other people. Now, that can often be the case for Pisces folks. But if you can do this in a more practical context, better still. On the 18th, Venus moves. Now this is really glorious. It moves into one of the most glamorous, sexiest parts of your scope. And it means you're going to be emanating a very special magic from then until the end of the month. On the 20th, Saturn, which has been twisting backwards in your sector of expansion for the last five and a half months. So real hard going if you wanted to open things out may have been very, very difficult, that goes forwards. But I do need to tell you that Mars, which has been in that deep, passionate part of your scope, good for finances, not so good for maybe close alliances where patience is required, that is clashing with the Sun for three weeks of this month, well, at least in terms of Cancer and Libra. And then Mars moves into Scorpio, which can be very good for you on the 26th, but then the sun has moved into Leo and still the clash is continuing. So when it comes to your impatience with things, do proceed very carefully. You might be tempted to break away from something that actually, if you show the resolve, can be very good for you long term. But you may need to be tactical and quell that side of you that wants instant results. The new moon, which occurs on the 25th, is an opportunity to be much more serious about what you eat, and what you cook, and also about the kind of exercise and fitness regimes that you take part in. If you're not doing very much, then a good time to, to step things up and get more active. As the month comes to a close, Jupiter and the Sun merge, and if you're looking for a job, a stroke of fortune is definitely possible in week four. But just be conscious that Venus does go opposite Pluto, and if you're tempted to get into an intense, rather 
um, a luring a relationship with someone who up until now has been a friend and either of you is still involved in another relationship, I would proceed with an enormous amount of care because this could end up being something of a disaster. But whether you can resist this person is another matter. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.